29 ACCA in December 2014 video. Before I can talk about the tips, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Preeti Joseph. I am the F8 and the F9 tutor with Phoenix Financial Training. Let me introduce you to the format of the paper as the format of the paper has been changed. Previously, it was comprising of four questions. Each question was worth 25 marks each, which gave us the total of 100 marks. Whereas now, from the December 2014 sitting onwards, the format has been changed. There are two sections. There is section A as well as there is section B. Section A comprises of multiple choice questions. There are a total of 20 questions and each question is worth 2 marks, which gives a total of 40 marks in your exam. Whereas section B of the paper, there are two styles of questions. There are a 10 marker as well as there is a 15 mark question. There are three 10 mark questions in your exam and there are two 15 mark questions in section B which gives a total of 60 marks for section B and that gives you a total of 100 marks in your paper. With regards to the syllabus, uh, in section A the examiner has clearly mentioned stating that the entire syllabus will be examined for section A. So it becomes a bit difficult for us in terms of predicting as to which are the areas that will be covered for section A. Whereas in section B, the examiner has mentioned stating that for the 15 mark questions, the syllabus that will be tested would be on investment appraisals, second would be on working capital management and thirdly it will be on business valuations. Whereas the remaining areas of the syllabus would be tested on the 10 mark questions. Now, coming about in terms of the weightage of the paper, please try to concentrate equally on the numerical bits as well as on the theory bits as the paper is equally divided between both. There is 50% numericals as well as 50% theory. If you only focus on just the numerical bits of the paper, you're reducing your chances to pass this paper for this sitting. So kind advice, please do the theory bits as well. Do focus on that as well. The main thing is try to get reasonable points under each one or each question or each requirement yeah, in order to increase your chances to pass this paper at line. Now, coming about to do with the tips or the valuable predictions of mine for the December 2014 sitting are as follows. Uh, the questions that can be tested would be on investment appraisals, whereas they can ask you on your net present value calculations along with your internal rate of return, your accounting rate of return or your return on capital employed yeah, or payback period. These are the areas that can be tested on this area of the syllabus along with a bit on when you're talking about your net present value they can ask a bit on including inflations as well as tax implications as well then on this same area of the syllabus they can also ask a bit on sensitivity analysis probability analysis where you quantify the risk in given to you in the scenario okay, moving on to the next probable area in your exam would be on your weighted average cost of capital where they ask you to calculate what is going to be your weighted average cost of capital where they give you different types of finance where they can ask you uh, equity, they can give you debt, they can give you preference shares as well as part of your calculations. In terms of the theory, please be comfortable with the theories on your financial management where they talk about the traditional method, they talk about Modigliani and Miller without tax, with tax, please try to be comfortable with that as this is a highly probable area in your exam. Coming about the next area that can be examined would be on your working capital management and the topics that can be covered would be on receivable management or it can be on your inventory management. When we talk about receivable management, they can ask in terms of theory, where they'll ask you what are the different methods to manage your receivables, yeah, where you can also be asked in terms of the calculations, whether is factoring uh, feasible or not to be adopted by the company, or they can ask you whether should we offer settlement discounts to the customers. Yeah, these are the areas that can be come around for your receivable management. 
Whereas if you're talking about inventory management, they will ask you something around to do with calculating your economic order quantity and trying to analyze uh, the total annual cost uh, before taking your economic order quantity and after taking your economic order quantity and where they'll ask you to calculate whether is there a saving or is it a cost for the company by introducing your economic order quantity. Then they can ask you on the syllabus area to do with business valuations where they will ask you to value the company based on either the PE method, that's your price earning method, they can ask you a net asset value method, they can ask you a dividend growth model method. Along with that, they can even ask you questions revolving around sources of finance, where they'll ask you to calculate ratios, like for example, your operational gearing, your financial gearing, where they will ask you to calculate and comment on that as well. Finally, the topics that can be examined would be on your foreign exchange risk management. It has not been examined for quite some time, so it's very highly probable that it can be examined for this sitting, that's your December 2014 sitting. That comes to an end for your tips for F9 for the December 2014 sitting. I hope this video would have been a valuable uh, source for you in her terms of helping you to pass your F9 exam. All the very best for the F9 paper. I hope you all pass this paper and you know progress towards your P level, that's your professional level papers. All the very best once again. Thank you for watching this video for Phoenix Financial Training. Thank you.